Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever looked at your electricity bill and wondered, is there a better way? With the cost of power on the rise and a growing desire for energy independence, more and more people are turning to solar power. But when you start looking at home battery systems, it can get confusing fast. Today we're going to answer one of the most common questions I get from viewers. How many batteries do I need for a 12 kilowatt hour load consumption? We're not just going to give you a number, we're going to give you a complete guide. By the end of this video, you'll know how to do the math yourself, what to look for in a battery, and how to size your entire solar system. This is your ultimate guide to solar battery sizing. Let's dive in. The key factors and how to find them. The first step to a perfect system is understanding three key factors. Your daily load consumption. Our subscriber gave us 12 kilowatt hours. But how do you find your own? The easiest way is to look at your past electricity bills. Your utility company usually provides your monthly or even daily usage. You can also use a smart home energy monitor like Sense or Emporia, which gives you real-time data. Knowing your peak usage is just as important as your average. The battery's capacity and type. This is a big one. Batteries are measured in kilowatt hours, but not all batteries are created equal. The most common types for home use are lithium ion and lead acid. Lithium ion batteries like those from Tesla, Powerwall or Enphase are more expensive but have a higher efficiency, longer lifespan and a much higher depth of discharge, DOD. Lead acid batteries are cheaper upfront but have a shorter lifespan and a lower DOD meaning you can only use about half their stored energy. For our example, We'll use a modern 5 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery with a high DOD depth of discharge, DOD. This is the percentage of the battery's total capacity that you can safely use. Using a battery's full capacity can shorten its life. For our 5 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery, the DOD is typically around 90%. That means out of the 5 kilowatt hours, you can safely use 4.5 kilowatt hours. This is a critical factor you can't ignore. The calculation. Okay, let's do the math using our numbers. The formula is straightforward. First, we need to find the usable capacity of our chosen battery. Usable battery capacity equals battery capacity multiple by DOD. For our example, with a 5 kilowatt hour battery and a 90% depth of discharge, usable capacity equals 5 kilowatt hours multiple by 0 0.90 equals 4.5 kilowatt hours. So each 5 kilowatt hour battery can actually provide 4.5 kilowatt hours of power to your home. Next, we calculate the number of batteries you need. Number of batteries equals total daily load divided by usable battery capacity. Let's plug in our numbers. Number of batteries equals 12 kilowatt hours divided by 4.5 kilowatt hours equals 2.66. Beyond batteries, sizing the full system. As you can see, the math tells us we need three batteries because you can't buy two-thirds of one. But a battery bank is just one part of your system. You'll also need one solar panels. These are what generate the energy to charge your batteries. To cover a 12 kilowatt hour load and account for cloudy days and charging losses, you'll need a solar array that can produce more than 12 kilowatt hours per day. A good rule of thumb is to aim for a system size of about 6 kilowatts. This will typically produce enough energy to charge your batteries and power your home during the day. 2. Inverter Solar panels produce DC power, but your home appliances use AC power. The inverter is the brain of the system. It converts that DC power into usable AC power. When sizing an inverter, you need to consider your home's peak power usage. If your home uses a lot of appliances at once, you might need a larger inverter. Third charge controller. This device manages the flow of energy from the solar panels to the batteries, ensuring they don't overcharge or get damaged. Advanced sizing. Days of autonomy. Now, let's get into a more advanced consideration. Days of autonomy. This is a fancy term for how long your batteries can power your home without any sunlight. Our previous calculation was for a single day of backup. But what if you have a multi-day storm? Let's say you want two days of backup for your 12 kilowatt hours daily load. The total energy you need to store is now 24 kilowatt hours. Total storage needed equals 12 kilowatt hours per day. Multiple by two days equals 24 kilowatt hours. Now, 
Let's use our same formula to find the number of batteries needed. Number of batteries equals 24 kilowatt hours divided by 4.5 kilowatt hours equals 5.33. Again, we round up, so for two days of backup, you would need six 5 kilowatt hour batteries. This shows you how a simple change in your needs can dramatically affect your system size. Real world tips and what to look for Warranties Always check the warranty. Most lithium ion batteries come with a 10 year warranty, often guaranteeing a certain number of charge cycles or a minimum capacity after that time. Certifications Look for safety certifications like UL and IEC. These ensure the battery has been tested and meets industry safety standards. Brand reputation Stick with established brands. Companies like Enphase, Generac and LG have a proven track record. While it's tempting to go with a cheaper, lesser known brand, the risk of a faulty product or poor customer support is often not worth the savings. Professional installation Unless you are a certified electrician, it is highly recommended to have a professional install your system. Solar and battery systems deal with high voltages and are not something to mess with. So to bring it all together, here's what you need to remember. First, find your daily load, either from your bill or a monitor. Second, choose your battery type and check its capacity and DoD third. Use our simple division formula to find the minimum number of batteries you need. And remember to think beyond a single day of backup. Finally, always factor in the other key components of a full system panels, an inverter, and a charge controller. I hope this in-depth guide helps you on your path to energy independence. If you have any questions or want us to analyze another specific scenario, drop a comment below. We love hearing from you. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content on solar, batteries, and all things renewable energy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.